Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How are you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out my wife's channel if you want. The link's in the description as well. She does some fun stuff and you might see me there from time to time as well. Uh, but here we are. Uh, I had a few questions. I had one, one person asking me about the source code. Now the link in the description to the GitHub link, uh, in that link you should find another link which goes to simple SFML game. So you have to click that first and then you'll find all the source code. Otherwise it's just a big list of all my different projects. So you want, you probably want to do that. Um, also another one was about sprites. Person wants to know, a very nice subscriber wants to know how uh, you might make a sprite and you m multiply that sprite instead of making different enemies like 10 enemies you have one enemy and you print that enemy out on several places like that and you could do that if you wanted to uh, I'm not going to do that in this video the thing is we might do that in another little mini game that we're going to make and because it's a pretty good thing to know uh, for enemies it might be tough because you want to kill a specific enemy you don't want the same enemy everywhere uh, but yeah that that depends how you want to do it but we'll we'll check that out as well in this video, let's run the game and let's see what we have done. Uh, what we have is we have a few of these spawning here. What I want to do is I want to make sure they spawn outside the game, anywhere on top, and they go downwards uh, towards our our ship. That's pretty much how it's going to work. To do that, we need to go to where we are spawning the enemies. So we're pushing them back here. And in our game, we have access to our window. Uh, this is going to be the Y coordinate, so it's going to be way outside. It's got to be like minus uh, 100.f to be sure. But this randomness is going to be from 0 to the screen width. So this window dot get size dot x minus I guess we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, minus 50.f uh, uh, minus 20.f. Just just to be sure they don't spawn completely outside. Uh, and then we are updating the enemies. Now we we'll also want to make sure the enemies are removed as they come to the bottom of the screen. So I'm just gonna copy this window that gets size, and I'm gonna go down here. If uh, this, let's see, uh, probably want to do that in a regular for loop. Let's make a regular for loop. Int i equals zero. I is less than this. Enemies dot size uh, like this. Plus plus i. Enemy update enemies update good hopefully that will work good then we're gonna remove enemy at sorry about that at the bottom of the screen and it's a very easy check to do that so we want to see if this enemies at position i dot get now we need to make a get position for this, this is a good thing that we're gonna require um, we might just as well make a get, make an accessor here. We might as well make a get, uh, what do you call it? Bounds, get bounds. Float rect, sf float rect, get bounds, const, there we go. Make that const as well. Good. And I I found a nice way to way to do this. So you define this like that. Why is this complaining? Who are you? Oh, did I do it in the CPP file? Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this, put it in here. Sessors. Boom. And then we're gonna. Oh, it was defined already. I'm going to define that up here then. 
good. Uh, very nice. Enemy. No. There we go. Okay, so now we can return the rectangle or the floating rectangle uh, bounding box around our enemy object. This sprite shape dot get global bounds. And the reason I didn't do a reference here, and I don't want you to do it even in your future projects if you're making a function like this, is because when this global bounds function returns the float rect from the actual shape from the sprite, it returns a copy. So if you return a reference here, it's going to bug out and it's not going to really get the right values. It's going to crash because it's going to be a reference to a temporary temporary local variable right here. So uh, make sure you have a copy uh, because we usually do use references in our game. So it, it's not that strange if you would try to do that. Uh, but for here, this is good. So get bounds dot y. Good. Uh, 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 let's see. Get bounds y. Or would it be top? Yeah, top is the y coordinate. So we're going to check if the y coordinate of the enemy is less or greater than, sorry, greater than this window dot get size dot y. Very simple. So if this is outside of the screen, we're going to erase. Or enemy and that's exactly how we're gonna do it we're gonna go ahead and do enemies dot erase and this is how you erase something from a vector in C++ so you want to call the erase function and then you want to give it the beginning of this erase uh, uh, what do you call it erase array this enemies dot begin I don't know it's tedious it doesn't really have a good function for us to use uh, but we're just gonna do it this way begin plus i. So what this basically says is erase something at the start plus the i variable. So how far we've gotten. So this actual enemy begin plus i would give it like if i was 3 it would be the enemy at position 3. So it's very simple. That's what it's going to do. And that is very nice. And what I want to do is I want to check this out. std see out this enemies dot size. I want to see it decrease as soon as they reach the bottom as the bottom let's see if this works uh, wait they're not gonna move to the bottom sorry about that they're not moving at all so enemies update let's go into enemies and update and I'm just gonna make the shape move downwards so enemy.cpp all right go in here and just do move 0.f in the x direction and let's say they're moving 10.f to the bottom there. That's pretty fast though. We might not want that. But we'll see if that actually works. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, that does work, but it's a little too a little too fast. Uh wait, I didn't see. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Zero zero zero. Yeah, it's as soon as an enemy reaches the bottom, it gets deleted. So that's good. But if we were to put it at a three you know, we'd have a lot more enemies spawning. Good. Probably want my player speed to be a lot more, whatever. We'll check that out later. That's up to you guys. If you want to make it a little faster, uh, you can do it. I'll put that to four. Good. So now we have enemies that are moving to the bottom of the screen. Uh, we have different shapes on enemies. We have all that stuff. But we don't have different speeds. We don't have different things like that, uh, which we probably would like. So I'm going to add a little speed variable here in enemies.h so I'm gonna go ahead and add int or float speed and then go into your enemy here and just give it this speed equals some default value equals 5.f okay just say 5.f and now we're gonna go back into the update function we're actually gonna say this speed here you see so it's a little more customized in that way when we create our enemy here, uh, we're going to generate the enemy depending on the type. So say I give it another type, it's going to have a different speed, a different HP, a different damage, and maybe a different amount of points on its circle. So that's what we're going to do next. Right now it's random, 
but later the amount of points in its uh, the point count basically will signify what type of enemy it is so that's how we're gonna roll with this hopefully that's gonna be nice and fun for you guys a little more game like also do the GUI and everything it's gonna be fun but thank you guys so much for sticking with me in this video it's been fun the series has been going pretty well and uh, thank you for all your support as well really appreciate it check out the description box drop a like subscribe all that and I'll see you in the next one right bye bye